All right, everybody. I feel like Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. I've been, been trying to make a video, and between the little bit of wind noise I'm battling and my stupid dog, who decides he has to be outside with me, but then every time I try to start the video, he starts scratching the living crap out of the door trying to get back in. So hopefully we've got that under control and he'll stay away and not bug me. So I am out working again, just step by step di diagnosing what's going on with these windshield wipers and why they quit working. Just a quick follow up on what we'd found previously was that we felt like there was some kind of an internal short either in the uh, electronic circuit board inside the motor or possibly the motor itself just died and again internally shorted i'm not sure yet but we did verify that the internal switch on the column is working properly is properly sending the signal and the power to the main harness to the actual windshield wiper motor uh, the way i check that was just with a simple probe that I ground to the engine block and then in turn, you know, inside the vehicle went from off, intermittent, low, high, and I can probe the main plug in to the motor and everything responds appropriately. So I know that the fuse is good, the power is getting to the motor. It's just an issue with either inside the motor itself or that little circuit board. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Richard had uh, contacted me the other day and he said uh, hey if there's a wiper motor still on that 92 Typhoon parts vehicle you know grab the circuit board out of it and see if that'll fix it and I was like oh okay well it's been raining and crappy weather ever since he told me I could do that so finally today it stopped raining the sun came out um, I chanced driving to the back of his property because it's uh, very wet from all the rain Thank goodness the car didn't get stuck and it only takes literally like 10 seconds to remove a circuit board out of these wiper motors. But I wanted everyone to see these little wiper circuit, mo uh, circuit boards for your wiper motors. There couldn't be anything simpler to change. So if you ever hear a mechanic or anyone saying, oh, check your uh, circuit board in your wiper motor, uh, this GM vehicle, uh, it's literally one, what is it, a quarter inch screw, and that's pretty much it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out this circuit board and see if that fixes my wipers. Um, I did go ahead and disconnect my negative cable on my battery just in case. You know, who knows? We could probably burn something up or pop a fuse if I didn't. So let me grab my quarter inch driver and a flathead screwdriver. I want you guys to see, right here's your wiper motor. This front plate is held on with a quarter inch screw. And once you get it loose, stop and just do it with your finger so you don't drop it down in here and lose it. I mean, it's nothing special, but you know, why would you go through that hassle? Literally, it's a plastic cover that just comes off. And that one screw that you took out is what holds the, the circuit board in. So on the left side, towards the middle, you've got four or five little prongs that connect into a snap into the circuit. And over here, you've got a way that kind of guides it. Once you get that slightly broke loose, you literally just grab it and pop it out. Boom. Now I did look at this circuit board earlier. I don't see any obvious signs of meltage or short, you know, in this circuit board that came out of the vehicle. I don't see anything obvious and it doesn't smell, you know, it doesn't smell burnt, which is kind of an untechnical term, but I'm going to throw this board in here and if you'll see on the side where your plug-in is you just got to kind of get it started in the guide and then once you get it started in line up your little prongs 
and snap those in, push that in. That's it. It's, it's reinstalled. Now this cover only goes on one way because the hole is not centered. So you literally put this back on, grab your little screw. Now, this is a job even a one-handed person can do, I'd imagine. But you basically just snug this up. Now keep in mind, it's a coarse threaded screw into plastic, so don't go crazy. As soon as you feel it seat, that's plenty. It is on there and it's solid. So we've completed our install of our new circuit board. The plan is, if it doesn't fix the, mo the wipers, then we know it's the actual motor itself. And I will have to run over to Richard's grab that other motor because I did verify the same wiper motor and all that was used from I know for sure between the 85 Blazer and the 92 Typhoon had the same part number so I wanted to try the circuit board first if that doesn't fix it then of course I would just change out the whole motor I think the hardest part of changing out the motor is probably taking your wiper arms off then you remove that Valance piece. The I don't think it's that hard. I don't recall it being that difficult to remove your your uh, they call it your transmission, like your windshield wiper regulator transmission setup. I don't think it's that hard to pry off the shaft, and then I could just swap it out with the one at Richard's house because uh, it's from the '92 Typhoon and it's surely in better condition of this one. Than this one is in case it's broken so anyway let me grab the key real quick and we'll see if we've uh, made any difference at all sorry about that i was ill prepared Probably going to be beneficial if we hook the battery back up. Let's make sure that's in good shape. All right, we got the battery up. Of course, we've got the construction workers across the street making all the noise they can. But let me see if I can move you over here. Maybe you guys can see. If it, I don't know if it'll overexpose out here in the sun or not, but we're hoping that that goofy little thing will start turning when I give it power. We shall see. that of course I had to hit the hit the super tripod with the door get you back out of the sun because it's really overexposed over there but we have figured out that it's not the circuit board that it's got to be the actual windshield wiper motor itself um, I will clean and just verify the ground to the firewall one more time because I just find it so weird that that thing would still be doing that. You know what I mean? So, uh, gosh, I just don't know. I feel weird that that thing didn't work. Let me see if, uh, well, duh. Does anybody see what I did? Because I'm trying to make this video and I'm kind of moving a little faster than I should. Trying not to go over my stupid 15 minute mark. Watch this probably going to have a lot more results if I plug the harness 
back into the motor. I'm just gonna go with that as probably the main reason why that test failed. So let's try again. can do is clean the ground because I've got additional ground to, from the motor mounting bolt to the firewall maybe I need to add another ground cable from the engine to the firewall I mean that's not impossible I mean they were working when I first got the swap running and then the, of course they were having that weird uh, where you every time you energize the ignition switch they would cycle one time. That was the only real weird thing they would do is they would, every time you'd power up your, your, your ignition cylinder, they would cycle one time. And then I, I have seen it where I hit a bump hard enough, it'd make the windshield wipers come on and then go back off just one cycle. And then out of the blue, boom, they just stop working all together. So maybe that is a sign of a bad ground or an intermittent ground or something of that nature. So, I mean, the only thing I can do is really just try cleaning up the grounds one more time, redo this test. And if that doesn't make them start moving, then, you know, surely it, the only thing left is the actual motor itself. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny that I forgot to plug in the harness, but noticed it when I was trying to explain it in the video so thanks for helping guys you pressured me into finding the uh, harness being unplugged but unfortunately that didn't fix it so we know the signals getting in or to the motor we know powers getting to there we know the circuit board's good or at least we assume it is uh, came out of that newer model vehicle but we still got no wipey so I guess my next step it's going to be to just clean all the grounds on the firewall one more time and I might add another ground cable directly from the probably the head to the firewall just to you know make sure I got enough grounds because I got tons of those little ground cables I can add because I'm just you know I need wiper blades I'm tired of not being able to drive my vehicle anytime it's raining or misting so anyway that's where we're at that was uh, how easy it is to change that little electronic circuit board in a windshield wiper motor. I would say anyone can do it with the proper tool in less than 30 seconds, easy. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm not used to asking for that stuff, but you know, if this can help anybody out or anybody you know, or anybody you work with, family, friends, share the video hopefully they'll be able to you know go through this whole learning process and get their windshield wipers working thanks again for watching guys